Listening for the Atlas. Team, transfer the trolley in three, two, one, move. I'm Sarah, a nurse working in the Roll 3 Emergency Department in Afghanistan. I've been on shift since 7am and this is the second severely wounded patient I've seen today. This is Rifleman Mark Jones, a 19-year-old soldier who was out on foot patrol in the northern Helmand province when he stepped on an IED. His team and the medic gave him immediate first aid on the ground, putting tourniquets on him to stop him bleeding to death and giving him morphine to try and ease the pain. The medical emergency response team was dispatched to collect him in a Chinook helicopter. Mark has been given two units of blood and we have access to his arteries and veins to give him more fluids and drugs. It's summer, fighting levels are high. The emergency department will not stop. We'll wear lead aprons all day, littering the emergency department floor with blood, bandages and medical resources, cleaning them up and resetting for the next patient. He's now in the emergency department. At the Belmont Infuser, two nurses work continuously to hang blood and FFP to increase blood volume. There are clinicians on every limb, swarming over him, but the room is quiet, all except for the voice of the clinician in charge. We know working as a team is crucial. We each know our roles inside and out, but we operate as one. Our time in the emergency department is brief. Mark needs surgery. Like a well-rehearsed play within 10 minutes, radiological images have been taken, lines inserted, drugs and antibiotics administered, surgeons have assessed, and we all move together through to the operating theatre. And this is where our jobs continue. In a way, our job is easy. We assess, we patch up, we try to save lives and limbs. You quickly get used to seeing the human body being torn apart. The sights, sounds and smells of war are raw. And for those people, military, civilian, National Guard, who day after day adapt to a life in a conflict zone, each of them know that we are here waiting, just in case. It isn't just Mark's life that's been blown apart. It's his comrades, his family, his friends, his future. We desperately want those injured to be at home with their families and we do everything in our knowledge, skill and experience to achieve this one goal.